Hi there, this is Sky, and uh, you know, it is so amazing how there's this internal rhyme between the, our natural world and then um, human and uh, more than human processes. And uh, and so today I just thought maybe we'll take a look at the 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 process of um, of metamorphosis as a um, a living symbol of transformation, a deep image, if you will. And so, um, so I hope that in joining me on this journey, we can sort of get just a sense of another way to think about the processes involved, the, um, you know, the, a close up on what happens in cases of transformation. So, um, you're almost certainly familiar, learned in preschool probably, or before that, I don't know, that, um, a butterfly starts as a caterpillar and goes into a chrysalis and then emerges as a butterfly. But what gets really interesting is there's a fantastic little drama um, that plays out inside of the chrysalis. On the way to transformation, what exactly is occurring? And it's in the details that, um, that this becomes where we really start to see what it means to transform. Um, and, uh, so the process I'm about to describe is biologically, technically accurate in the, um, in the scientific natural world. Um, uh, and specifically describing the um, uh, Drosophilia genus. Genus? I think it's the genus, yeah. Um, in any event, I'm not an entomologist, but I have done a little bit of researching and thumbing through, and I'll include the um, I'll include those research articles in the comments of this video. But um, as we're listening to this, just think in terms of the poetic value, if you can, just sort of relax the mind and allow for the um, the poetic value to just kind of um, wash over you, right? So. In the beginning, a caterpillar is born, and its primary task is to consume. It's to eat as much as it can. It gluts itself on as much food as it is able to until it is completely exhausted its capacity to consume, right? So it climbs up onto a branch and finds itself a good spot and um, uh, probably is dragging itself by this point to the nearest spot creates a chrysalis for itself and dissolves itself into a genetic soup. Now, okay, so how do we get from butterfly soup or caterpillar soup to butterfly? It has to do with the way that um, the material of the caterpillar's body is organized, right? So the immune system of the former caterpillar is at work in this genetic soup of the old caterpillar. Um, and But within the body of the old caterpillar were these things called imaginal discs. And this is a fantastic word to describe um, the whole process because the imaginal discs retain the image for what is to come, the image of the butterfly and the, the genetic design of what needs to configure in order to um, make that shift. Well, the immune system of the old caterpillar identifies these di imaginal discs as foreign and tries to kill it. It does. However, now within the body of the imaginal discs, there are so many imaginal cells that also retain the image for what is to come. Um, and the immune system is still trying to kill them, right? Still trying to suppress what is new. However, now there are so many of these imaginal cells that the, um, begin, they begin to cohere. They begin to resonate. These imaginal cells find one another. And just from the sheer fact of their resonance, their coming together, their, um, their synergy, this can reconfiguration based on um, affinity, based on their, their kinship, if you will, their, um, their fundamental kinship within their um, resonance, 
uh, this forms the, the structure altogether, this forms the structure of the nervous system for the butterfly. So the immune system, the old way, is still trying to kill and suppress um, what has been or what, what is emerging. But now, together, as these imaginal cells have found one another, come into resonance, formed the nervous system of the new butterfly, the immune system has no... Um, not doesn't really have power at this point and it has to surrender to um, sort of the new way which is the um, kind of the plans for the future inherent in the in this um, imaginal cell cohered new nervous system of the butterfly so I think there's a number of ways that this can be applied but for me what this means it's been a guiding image uh, and metaphor for my for my life and for how I see my role in the world. Um, for me, it it reminds me that you know when I feel so small and so insignificant and unable to contribute to the world at large, I'm just one person. You know how how transformative, how tremendous, how innovative, how genius are my ideas? Well, probably not you know, significant enough to change the world in terms of how I think a lot of people think about this in terms of um, social activism. Um, that is true. However, um, if I think of myself as an imaginal cell in the body of a caterpillar in this critical chaos window, this, um, this uh, particular era, which is so ripe with the potential for transformation, if I think of myself as an imaginal cell, I realize that my job is I may not have answers in and of myself, and maybe no one person does, no one institution, no one body of thought um, has the perfect originality to change the world. But of course, we are all changing the world all the time. Um, cascading out into the world, rippling out with our effects, right? And I think also rippling out with our love. So I remember that as an imaginal cell, my job is to simply um, resonate with as much brilliance, with as much heartfelt sincerity, with as much of a sense of possibility as I can muster and bring that to others, right? And to see if I can inspire others to do the same. How much together of a sense of possibility and hope and, um, and, uh, and imagination can we cultivate together? And that it may not be answers that I provide as one little life, but rather it is how much can I cohere with others and wake up and amplify that sense of resonance and that sense of possibility within myself and within others. And how do I do that? By connecting heart with heart, center with center, whole being to whole being with others. And that together we are in the process of reconfiguring in such a way that we can bring um, that innovation and possibility and social transformation um, simply emerges out of what, who we are, who and what we are together.